Pretty Mason, much it's a montage. We're, we're doing all this one sitting. So this is the Link Joker vid. So the first card is going to be the another very big high um high controversy not controversy but um talked about card mm -hmm. Star Vader Chaos Breaker Dragon. So this card, the limit break is Soul Blast Star Vader. During your opponent's end phase, when their card becomes unlocked, you retire it and then you draw a card. So you go plus two, and you can use this effect multiple times in a turn. Yes, yes you can. Yes you can. Yes, you can. And, and can we, can we do yes, it? We yes, we can. So we can go plus two, plus four, plus six, plus eight. It can get pretty crazy. Now, assuming that they're actually locked. You break right it. You break right it, and that's plus four right there. I know, I'm just saying, assuming. So this card is really, really good. And then also, to top it off, you counter blast one, and you discard a Star Vader, and you walk, lock any of the rear guards. Any. In a three back row, just any of the rear cards. <laughs> yeah. So, so it can you can always um you can always turn it into a plus one because um you yeah sure you discard but during the, your next turn you get that card back later. Yep. So you get you get an additional card and you get to retire their own card. How now? How much worth is that? Very worth it? Yes, I say so. The only bad thing, the only not, not even a bad thing, but that, the, the, it makes the card fair is um that you can only lock a card once per turn with its ability. So that's that's the only da downside. But otherwise, that card is freaking amazing. Um. Also, it's been speculated to have been the um the card that Kai uses and the uh, whole vision of beating Aichi and that Takto used to be Kai, but. That is still up for debate because I do not see how he would lock five cards. I just don't see how that would happen. Or it could be till later on. We, we don't know. Well, there's a um, set. There's set fourteen that's been announced, but I mean, set fourteen is like we all have, Link Joker will probably be in it because it's po it's possibly the climax set, but we don't know for sure. Well, supposedly that there's gonna be Shadow Royal. No, I haven't heard anything much. I oh, I've heard a little. Well, there's been speculations about it. I know Kagero and Genesis are going to be in that, that oh, yes. for sure. I know that's for sure um, yes, that's confirmed. Alright, so the next card is Star Raider Colony Maker. This card, when you place it on the rear guard, you counter blast one. And if your opponent has a lock card, you can get a grave one or less um, Star Raider from your deck and call it to rear guard. That's really good. It's basically like uh, Zero's Tartu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is always good to have. Except... Yeah. Um, unlike Tartu, this can put it in anything and has less of a cost. However, unlike Tartu, you have a ha there's a condition that you have to have. Mm -hmm. So that's also why it's pretty good. You can get your um, you can get another card that will be in the set, or you can get I think his name Neoboom. Yeah. But um, basically the uh card that when your opponent's rear guard gets locked, plus two K power to him. So it's pretty good, and it's also a nine K, which is nice. The next card is Knight of Entropy, Entropy, which must be combated for to in order to save our in order to save humanity. And if you get that reference, you're freaking awesome. And if you don't, go away. You don't even get that reference. So, does it matter? Hey, okay, we have to be here. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of stuck here. Yeah, you know, so, I live here. Yeah, he, he's kind of stuck here. And I'll, I'll, I don't want to go outside. There's scary people. You, you, you just you just keep playing your League of Legends. Also, yes, I will play League of Legends. No, I don't play League of Legends. No, Ace Master doesn't play League of Legends. And Zero? Uh, I'm kind of off it, but... Zero's retired. Oh, the only one that plays League of Legends is uh, Double. So if you want to play League of Legends with us, go ask Double. No, 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 none of the other ones of us play. Everywhere well, we go, people want to know what we are, so we tell them I am Blitzcrank. <laughs> <laughs> Bl Blitzcrank and that arm. Anyway. I love Blitzcrank because, I mean, think about it. He has the walk that says, haters gonna hate. Come on. Just, walk, just look at that. Blitzcrank, back when I played with one of the, one of the champions that I just hated, I was like, oh, no, not a Blitzcrank. Anyway, back back to uh, Vanguard, yeah, back though. To important, non important stuff. So, this Knight of Entropy, when he attacks um, a Vanguard, plus 5k power to him, and then when you place on the Vanguard circle, you counter boss 2, and you lock a rear guard. It's okay. 
It, it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not good. Like, it's okay. Well, um... Because you can lock any rear guard. It is not even back row. Yep. So, it's okay. But, but it's it not a start... But it uh, Boss too, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that... You can find much better stuff. Um, what's his name? That, the set 13 card is Counter Boss 2. And he has to be a back row. But then again, that's... He can do it multiple times, this guy. Yeah, this, yeah, so this guy you hard. have to hit. Mm. The other one's just more mm. of like... No, this card's when he's placed on bad guard. Oh, then still forget that. Nebula, at least it works. <laughs> Terror Blast two, lock your card. The locks are back row only though. I find lock locking. Still. I find locking front row to be better because that means you, that means that columns can't attack, which is nice. Now our next card is going to be Paradise Elk. This card, I've never seen this card before. This card, oh, this card is the. Wow! 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 This, this is never. This card is the wow. No, no, no. Um, wow, this you card. Are really happy about it. No, this card is the standard when it hits counterblast two and draw card. But this card is a rare, which is surprising because normally those cards are double R or are normally double R's. Yes. So this card's a rare, which is kind of nice. So you can have like, you can have a different sort of Link Joker deck at a. It's a pretty good card. It's like a budget card, but it's really good. I mean, it's not really good, but like, it's it's nice. That, you it's know, good. it's a pressure unit. It's nice. It's a good card. It's a stand. It's a standard pressure unit. It's just. It's one of those things where it's kind of like. Eh. And it's not a Starvader though, which is the issue, the only issue with it. The next card is Ernest Starvader Selenium. He's uh, a starter. When your when you when your opponent's rear guard's locked, you return him to your hand. I just think Dust Tail is just so much better. Yep, Dust I I find it to be a lot better every time that I use it. Yeah, D Dust Tail is just kind of like the go-to Link Joker Vanguard, really. You know, what? there's not much to say. I would that card. If you're more of a defensive, yeah, you would start with that. Me, I would prefer just go. Hey, I lock your cards. Well, Link Jokers are more technically a defensive clan because lock is all about preventing attacks and weakening attacks, yeah, which is always good. Mm -hmm. So this actually plays into that yep. if you have a def more defensive style of Link Joker, but generally, generally a lot of people are going to play more offensively. I think. All right, next is Supermassive Star Lady Gunner. Her yep. effect is when she's boosted by Link Joker, she gets two thousand power. She's okay. She's not true yeah, cards. I mean, it, it could be worse. Yeah, she's okay. She's another like budget build card. Next is Destruction Star Vader. Tungsten. Tungsten? You say? Tungsten, yes. Both of you shut up. I know you're going to make something about a tongue comment. Might as well. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need. No, 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 no. When this card attacks him. Oh, this card is actually interesting. Well, what is it do? Alright, so this card, when it's on rear guard, if it attacks a vanguard and your opponent has a lock card, it gets a 12k attacker. Wow. Well. That's sexual tension. <laughs> that scar is actually not. It's not super good, but it's not super. It, it's actually not that bad in a deck built around what's his name, the cover card for this. It's not that bad because that Chaos. card. Yeah, because you can um, consistently lock cards with him every turn, so it's actually not that bad with him. It's not, and it's also Starvader, so you know. It works. It's actually not that I have bad. I no complaints about it. Excuse me. Nice. Um, this card is really good though. This is generally, this is in my opinion the go-to card with that with double R of um with the Tartu, um light card, um his name is po Prison Star Gate Starvader Palladium, oh. um counterblast one and put him to the soul during your opponent's end phase when a card's unlocked you can lock it you can relock it basically lock and drop it like a boss basically but the other good thing about him is he goes into the soul which fuses the what fuels the retire ability. So that's re he's really good, and if you don't have and you if you don't have the um the soul for him, then if you don't have the soul to retire all the cards, then hey, boom, all, to your card, oh oh oh, it's locked again, oh oh, for you. Plus on that that chain event will happen too. Um no, it, no that's not worked. It locks it and it locks it until their next end phase. Oh. It, so yeah, it would it wouldn't work that. Next up is Asteroid Belt Lady Gunner. Um when her um. One, she's basically the drop and draw booster, but she's not a Starvader, so she, no one cares. She's okay, but 
Once again, she's, she's not a star reader. I don't think she's, like, all that, you know, big mm -hmm. or anything. No, no, not really. It's all it's it's all about those uh, Star Vaders. It's all about those archetypes in general, though. Unless if you're going for um, I can't even pronounce that stupid dragon's name. Oh, Schwartz World Dragon. Yeah, Schwartz World Dragon. Actually, it's not that bad. She's not the Schwartz. She, um, who's if you don't know, it's that card is a Persona Blast, Counter Blast, three wounded attacks, lock three of your opponents' rear guards, plus ten thousand power, plus one critical. It's, it's Phantom Blaster Dragon on steroids. It's Phantom Blaster Overlord. Oh, yeah, my bad. Overlord. Overlord, my friend. No, Underlord. Well, this card is Starvator Chaos Burst Dragon. When you boost the cover card for this set, which is Starvator Chaos Breaker Dragon, you can Soul Blast him to make an 11k booster. I don't like him because so because um Chaos Breaker Dragon has a Soul Blasting <coughs> effect, so I don't like him. I don't mind the one for Nebula Lord because the um because Soul Blast of doesn't cost as much. The Soul Blast isn't that big a deal, but for um Chaos Breaker who has a Soul Blast. A really, really good Soul Blast effect. I don't think it's that great. Like, it's... I wouldn't use it. Yeah, I would not. I would... If you're going to use this card, save your Soul Blast for, um, star, for, for Chaos Breaker's effect. Mm -hmm. And the last card on our list is... Extending Black Ring... Pleiades. It's one of those real, like, cool... It's a grade three structure. Sure, sure. That's basically what it is. It's a grade three structure. Sure, sure. It's, it is what it is. It's if it, you're not gonna be if you're going for one of those budget builds in this card, then it's okay. But otherwise, you, otherwise, sit, no. Even then, d just stick with Dusttail. D Dusttail's just too good. Mm -hmm. If you're uh, just stick with Dusttail or the Rye Chain, just just just, just, just I mean, grade three is okay for certain decks like mm -hmm. for Glory Maelstrom and Blood. Basically, Cross Rye decks and. No, 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 except for, except for Platinum Isle, you use Kirif. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. Um. I know anything else that really needs great three structure. The Musketeers. Amaterasu? Amaterasu? I've always wanted to become part of the three Musketeers. That means I'd be the fo awkward fourth guy. Wow. <laughs> I like that fourth wheel. If, if that's even possible. It's. At least you'll be balanced. Wow. Anyways, this has been Team Fairy Tale.